Hello, my name is Matt Lee uh, of Schematical.com, but that's actually not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Um, so I started uh, messing around with using my Android, specifically a Samsung uh, 3G or 3S, and my Asus Transformer tablet to measure signal strength at different locations and. Uh, then backwards calculate and actually trilaterate, though I've been using the word triangulate, which isn't accurate, it's trilaterate, it's what the GPS site, uh, satellites do. Uh, different Wi-Fi networks. And what you see here in front of you is the 100 state, which is an awesome co-working space slash community here in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, a blue tree network as well. And here are a number of Wi-Fi uh, devices that it's found um, over time. And the position's not 100% accurate, but I can at least show you how I am uh, tracking these things. So the mobile device on my command sends out a ping. Uh, the really light ping ones out here, those are where the GPS is way off. It's not sure where it is because the GPS uh, usually at best is within 8 meters. Um, and at worst is <laughs> thinks it's within a hundred meters and even that according to Google's documentation is sixty percent sixty eight percent accurate anyway so these ones out here they're not very sure of now the darker it is the more sure it is the size of the circle indicates the distance that it thinks it is from um, so you can see here these these are medium darkness I'm not really sure you see it's bounced around there but overall it calculated you know that to be the location. Now, if you had guessed by now, it's not an exact science. That's that's pretty obvious right there. And so what I do is I top it all off with a statistical engine. So first I measure the distance, and I wrote a blog post about this on uh, blog.mattleyconsulting.com. Um, but uh, first I calculate you know the distance to the object and the further the signal strength away the more likely you've got signal decay due to walls and whatnot so the less accurate it is so we have to take that into consideration um, then from there I trilaterate it and weigh it again of course see yeah, this one's not very sure where we are right now uh, in addition you know basically assumes that uh, if it doesn't know where you are, we'll make that very light, so it's worth maybe 1% or maybe one-third of 1% of what of one that's dead certain that it knows the accuracy. Um, and then from there, once I've got that trilateration, you combine all the weights of the different measurements, and we find a rough idea of what our object is. Now, I've actually gotten it down with good luck within a meter or so, but that's when I was standing, that's because it had a measurement that was standing pretty close to it um, with very certain where it was. So we could do some pretty cool stuff with this and locate different devices um, around, here's just the capital. Um, but actually it's, it's, it's exciting to see uh, the type of triangulation you could do on these Bluetooth devices and whatnot. You can see up here another batch of measurements we've taken here so that one's all over but, um, and so that uh, concludes my demonstration of my work so far I actually wanted to display on the phone in, in um, uh, augmented reality style uh, but I have not gotten that far I have to rewrite my three-dimensional engine to work better but uh, we're on it so right now you're stuck with this Google map but at least it gives you a decent measurement. Thanks again. My name is Matt. Uh, you can reach out to me at schematical.com, M-L-E-A-S-C-H-E-M-A-T-I-C-A-L.com. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, I am trying to take this technology to the next level. Have a good one.